Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man on the 2018 Goldwing out for a little evening ride. Look at that beautiful sunset we got going. You can barely see it over those helms there. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. I'm actually uh, doing another evening ride to test out the new SoCal Moto Gear fog lights. These are the multifunction fog lights that just came out. In fact, I'm not even sure if they're shipping them yet. Um, I think I have a pre-production unit or set to install and test. And right now they're not turned on. I'm waiting till it gets a little bit darker. I'm going to go uh, ride to a couple of areas where I'm familiar with. Uh, the streets are a little bit darker than my street. And we're going to give them a test. But these multifunction uh, LEDs are kind of interesting because they are... Uh, you have different three different modes. They have DRLs built in. So you have daytime running lights. And then uh, you also have a DRL with a high-powered LED fog light. And then you also have what they call like a strobe light. And I'm not exactly sure where you would use that other than in an emergency, like as an emergency flasher, or if you're in some sort of a parade or something like that. I'm not sure how legal it would be to ride around with those emergency flashers going all or those flashers and strobe flashers going all the time they definitely get your attention though so um it's a pretty cool kit it installs virtually identical to the honda fog lights and in fact if you have uh, honda fog lights installed you could very easily swap out these socal moto gear lamp assembly uh, with your Honda lamps and you wouldn't have to reinstall a switch or anything because it uses the uh, switch on the dash the Honda OEM switch and if you buy the full kit from SoCal Moto Gear uh, it comes with that uh, OEM style switch so I have a video up on my YouTube channel right now that shows the full installation of this Pathfinder LED multifunction fog light. Coming up probably in two or three weeks, I'm going to try to do a comparison of the three different fog lights that I've had the opportunity to use. I've used the Honda, uh, the Rivco, and these new Pathfinder LEDs, multifunction LEDs. So I've ridden with each for two or three weeks, and I just got these in, so I want to give uh, a fair chance to uh, SoCal Moto Gear to use these for enough time to get a feel for them and see kind of how I compare them to the others. Uh, installation, like I said, is virtually just like the Honda. Uh, it, it's almost, you, you could almost argue, a complete knockoff of the Honda hardware. It looks identical all of the bracketry and the, the fasteners. In fact, the fasteners that come with the SoCal kit, I actually prefer over the Honda because they have Phillips screw heads on all of the bolts and it just makes it a little easier to assemble. But it's a pretty nice night. It's 51 degrees here in Dallas-Fort Worth. There's no wind or very little wind. So it's a pretty good evening to do this. We've had a, quite a bit of cold weather and a lot of rain. So this is the first time I've actually been able to get out and ride uh, for some time. So it's just nice to have the opportunity. Now, if you like these videos, these motor vlogs and all my installation and review videos and other videos, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell, uh, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. So things are just moving right along at Cruise Man's Garage. 
I'm in the process of uh, scheduling some more installation and product review videos for the upcoming months. I'm also working on some new videos for our 2018 plus maintenance series. Um, for those of you who have subscribed or have purchased those videos, uh, you'll be seeing some new videos added to your library soon. And uh, some of you have emailed me and asked me if there's an additional charge for that, and the, the answer is no. Uh, if we update videos or add new videos, that's all part of the purchase. So you'll be getting those very soon. And I think you're going to like the new videos. I think the response I've had so far from the 33 videos that we have in the library right now has been very good. And I appreciate all your comments. And for those of you on my YouTube channel watching this, I appreciate your comments in the videos. So I want to thank you for joining me for this night ride. I don't ride at night very much because uh, it's pretty dangerous here in Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, especially on the weekends. I never get out at nighttime on the weekends. But uh, I actually like riding at night, but um, it's just kind of dangerous. And I'd really like to hear your thoughts about riding at night. Put it down in the comments below. Do you ride at night? And if so, what city or town, or do you ride on the highway at night? I know on the highway at night it's a little scary because you never know when a deer is going to run out in front of you or something. But I mentioned earlier that uh, setting up a lot of new installation videos, and if you've got any particular products that you would like to see installation and review videos, on Cruise Man's Garage, please put it in the comments. And you know, you can go one further. Contact the company uh, that has the product uh, that you'd like to see reviewed or installed and let them know about Cruise Man's Garage. Uh, I'll bet 75% of my videos come from referrals from our subscribers and from our viewers. So companies reach out to me because they heard about us through one of you guys. And uh, that's a really great way to introduce them to what we're doing here at Cruise Man's Garage on the YouTube channel. So, you know, if you have a contact at one of these companies and you're thinking about buying their product, but you'd like to see it reviewed or installed, uh, hey, reach out to them and let them know. And uh, I do it on my end as well, so put it in the comments down below. And let me know what you're interested in, what you'd like to see. And uh, I'll do the best I can to reach out to them. Now, on that topic, I'll also say I get a lot of emails. I probably get 30 or 40 emails every day from you guys. And I try to respond to as, as many as I can but I want to apologize to some of you because I simply don't have the, the bandwidth and the, and the time to respond to every email. And some of you, you know, are asking some pretty technical questions. And I, um, as this channel grows and as Cruise Man's Garage, you know, expands its reach really around the world, uh, I'm getting a lot of emails. So. Um, I apologize if I don't get back to you or answer your question or if it takes a while for me to get back to you, uh, please be patient. You might also try posting to the glforum.com because that's the forum where I spend most of my time. I'm the administer, administrator of the forum and so uh, I spend a lot of time there too and so do a lot of other people that know a lot of things that I don't know. I know some of you guys think that I know everything there is to know about the Goldwing, but that's not true. A guy asked me a question just today about a CB radio, and I've never had a CB radio. I've never installed a CB radio, know nothing about them. So I just wanted uh, to let him know that, you know, he probably needs to go to the GL forum and post that question, and maybe somebody else can answer his question. Once again, thanks for signing on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. And 
I will see you next time on Cruise Man's Motovlogs.